Last video, I discussed how we use the position and weight of symbols to interpret numbers in binary and decimal representations. This method of interpreting numbers is called positional notation, and it can be used to represent numbers in any base. In this lecture, I'll discuss positional notation more formally and introduce another useful base, hexadecimal. In positional notation, the weight of each position is determined by the value of the base raised to the power indicated by the index of the position. The position immediately to the left of the radix point has index 0. The index values increase or decrease by 1 based on position. We derive the value of a number by multiplying the symbol at a position by its weight. We then add all these products together. If we had this number in base 16, each symbol would be multiplied by the weight associated with their positions. Now, if we use a base that is greater than base 10, we need more symbols than the 10 numerical symbols we typically use. For base 16, we use the 10 numerical symbols and the first six alphabetical symbols as the 16 symbols of our number code. We can use this lookup table to help us convert hexadecimal numbers to decimal. People often prefer to use hexadecimal notation when working with computers because numbers represented by hexadecimal notation are easier for us to read than those in binary notation. Hexadecimal is convenient because 16 is a power of 2. As you may notice on this chart, every fourth power of 2 is a power of 16. Therefore, we can group bits of binary numbers into groups of four, like those shown in these lookup tables, to easily convert between binary and hexadecimal numbers. Let's use this binary number as an example for how to convert from binary to hexadecimal notation. This number is long and difficult to read, but we can chop this number into four bit chunks and quickly and easily convert to hexadecimal notation. The first four bits will become 8 plus 2, or 10. The next four bits will become 4 plus 2 plus 1, or 7. The next four bits are 7 plus 8, or 15. And the last four bits are 1. And as you can see, we have our hexadecimal number. In this lecture, we discussed how to represent numbers with any base using positional notation. But we also introduced a specific base called hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is useful in designing computers because it allows us to represent long strings of binary bits with a smaller number of symbols.